You could see it too, right? Your little friend Ichigo was never gonna pass the test again. It was obvious from the get-go that this kind of training wasn't ever gonna work for him. It was so obvious. You even knew it too, right, brother? The only one... <laughs> Ichigo, where have you been, boy? Seems like forever since... The end of the world. Like you're some schoolgirl who had a fight with her parents. Sorry. Zikumi, thanks. Ow, it's hot! That, Shut you up. Stupid idiot. From the day I hired you, haven't I always been like an older sister to you? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Society. But your Zanpak toe was broken, and that Squad Zero came for you. Not ordinary human either. There's something you need to know about your mother, Ichigo. <laughs> My name's Masaki Kurosaki. I'm a Quincy. Let's go. I'm going to make sure you do your job, Captain Shiba. You guys in charge here. Wait! You're going off all by yourself? Yep. I shouldn't be gone more than a couple of days. Try not to burn the place down, all right? But, sir, should we... Any progress? No. Can't say that there has been, really. We've been successful. Situation. You're the only surviving member of the Kurosaki family without parents or siblings of any kind. It's only because you're a fellow Quincy that we even took you in. Mother, <clears throat> that's quite enough. It'll be difficult, you. if not impossible, to secure our future. And I don't mean hers and mine. I mean the future of the Quincy's. I guess it's not about spiritual pressure after all. Masaki Kurosaki. I'm Quincy. It's time to go, Katagiri. Masaki's safe. There is nothing to report here. Understood? Time and effort! Not at all. There are times when straying from the initial goal can result in a superior outcome. The rumors about there still being some Quincy's alive are actually true. Oh, I I'm so sorry. Oh, don't give it a second thought. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. True. You all right? I have been told that you fought against a hollow the other night to save a soul reaper. Huh? Are you all right? No, I... <laughs> no. Is that... A hog's hole? Stop it, Ryuken. What do you think you're doing? Where's father? Someone has already... Sir, you might be... No! Come back! Please! Ryuken, come back! You're lucky I happen to be in the area. Come with me. And I'll show you the choices you have to save her. It's quiet. who you are. I don't feel frightened. I'm Kisuke Urahara, an exile from the Soul Society. Kisuke Urahara? So that's you? I don't give a damn who or what you are! The purpose was to create stronger Soul Reapers. The problem is, souls that undergo holification eventually become mindless monsters and ultimates. Something enduring enough to stay at her side as long as she lives. Strong enough to continually suppress her holification. It's okay. Don't worry. I've come to protect you. So, got it? It's a go! Tell you when you wake up. Go home and tell my mother. 
that her son has proven himself incapable of protecting the Quincy's. As for me, I made use of the medical skills I'd picked up at the academy to open a small clinic. But it was like a little game we played. I'd lie to her, and she'd see through my lies. Forgive me for... Then, you were born. The very fact that it was released meant that the spiritual pressure I'd been exerting all these years was no longer capable of suppressing it. That you know. But you don't know the real reason why your mother died that Your mother. She wasn't supposed to die that day. She could have done it without getting a single scratch on her. But that's not what happened. It's a Quincy selection process conducted by Yuhabaha himself. <laughs> Yuhabaha is the father of the Quincy's. The Quincy's all sprang from him. And my son, born in the dark. It was never meant to hold Quincy's like us. You don't know the first thing about yourself, do you, boy? Not even about you. And it's what caused your mother to lose her powers and her life in battle. It was this selection process that caused Uryu's frail mother, Kanae Katagiri, to fall ill and die. And it's what... But right now, I've gotta go. Right on time. Let's go. <laughs> you ready to give it one more go? Personally, reforge it for you. Captain Hitsugaya, what brings you here today? But then, my Bankai was stolen. I must let go of what's been lost. I think mastering your Bankai is the only way you won't die here. Captain, I've always looked up to and respected you. Since the Quincy attack, he's just been staying holed up inside his office along with the lieutenant. And he hasn't come out? Not once? No. What the hell is that thing? What in the world is the captain creating in there? It's been a long time, Great Elder. So, Sardin, you've got some nerve coming back here. Then I shall have no other choice but to crush you. All right, bring it on! <coughs> you old buddies on Getsu? Must bid each other adieu! <laughs> What are you thinking while you're watching, Goichi? I bet you thought. It reminds me of the hollow within me. <laughs> that very same hollow entered your body and melded with your natural soul reaper your power. Soul who's been pretending to be your son, Pakto? <laughs> Your Quincy powers taking the form of Yuhabaha from a thousand years ago. That's why. And why I was able to go straight to him without knowing anything. Why I thought he was the most important enemy. But my words held no lies. Except it's as you just heard. I'm sorry, Ichigo. I am not Zangetsu. Whenever I taught you how to use your Zanpakuto, 
I always had help from the Hollow Hollow. I never wanted you to become a soul reaper, Ichigo. I feel a great sense of joy at the thought of stepping away from you. Go on, Ichigo. Take it. That is your true Zanpakuto. What you got going, Ichigo? That is your Those two Zangetsu you have now? You have returned. Hush, I welcome you. Uryu Ishida. You are... me. <laughs>